Hey guys, it's Thea from Hallmark, and today I'm here with my friend Jess Smith, food blogger from inquiringchef.com, and she's gonna show us how to make deviled eggs five ways. Okay, Jess, so I've only ever had deviled eggs one way. Super excited to do five. Um, are there any basic things we need to know when you're starting off with your you know, regular old deviled egg? No, I mean, you can start with just a basic deviled egg recipe. You bring, put them in a pot of water, bring mm -hmm. them up to a boil, cover them and set them aside for 10 minutes, and you should have perfect hard boiled eggs. Cool, okay, so show us your first recipe. So the classic um, recipe, that I like to use mm -hmm. is just mustard, mayo, and egg yolk in the Perfect. filling. Perfect, you can remember that. And then we sprinkle them with just a little bit of paprika. I like to use oh. smoked paprika. Got it. Kind of adds a little bit of color. That makes um, it look fancy. Exactly, they always look a little bit more fancy if they have a little paprika on top. Got it. So the first ver variation I like is sort of a shout out to Kansas City. It's a barbecue chicken egg. Yum. All we're gonna do is take a classic egg with a classic filling. We're gonna top it with a little bit of fried chicken because it's nice to have a little crunch. Yeah. And then we'll drizzle a little bit of barbecue sauce okay. on top. Cool. Right, oh, so I get to do it? Please, Fun. dive All in. Right. I mean, who doesn't like fried chicken? So here, if you wanna drizzle Ooh, just thanks. a little bit of, just go to town. You can write right. your initials. Mm -hmm. You can write a love note to your guests on Easter. That's nice, Thea. Ooh, thanks. that looks good. <laughs> okay, so that's our barbecue chicken deviled egg. Perfect. So the next one we're gonna make is a Thai curry egg. Okay. And this can be a little spicy or you can make it um, not spicy at all if you'd like. Awesome. So inside, um, we did a little variation. We mm -hmm. didn't add any mayonnaise. So there's coconut cream that adds a little bit of coconut flavor mm -hmm. and a little bit of Thai curry paste also in Got the filling. And, and you know lots about Thailand. I do. I actually lived in Thailand for almost five years. My husband and I did. Awesome. Yeah. So this one's super authentic. Very authentic, <laughs> very authentic. Though I never saw a deviled egg in Thailand, <laughs> but I feel like they would like it. If they made deviled eggs, they would make them like this. That's exactly right. So we're just gonna, this one was finished with a little bit of chili pepper, and oh. these are, they're not super spicy chilies, but you could use very, very spicy chilies. Ooh. And then um, we'll just add a little piece of cilantro at the end. Oh, just, yeah. It's just for a little color. Beautiful. It's nice with all these variations to get a lot of color. Yeah, and for sure. Texture. So that is our Thai curry deviled egg. Awesome. So the, the next egg we're gonna make is a Bloody Mary inspired egg oh, for brunch. Like. The, the only variation on the classic filling is you could add a little bit of celery salt inside, which gives it that celery yeah. flavor. Okay. Um, and you could also add a little bit of hot sauce if you like them spicy. Oh, okay. And then we topped it with a sun-dried tomato, which gives it that real tomato-y flavor. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna finish these off with some um, olives. Especially if you're making these ones, you should probably have actual Bloody Marys there too. You don't wanna deprive your guests. So the last one we're gonna make is also brunch inspired. I was excited about this one. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> this one is a bagel and lox inspired egg. The filling is a little bit different than the, the classic, but you could also just use a classic filling. And this one, we took out the mayo and we used cream cheese. Delicious. So you really get that bagel flavor. And then we add a little, a little bit of chop, chopped chives inside. Okay, cool. And then we're gonna finish them with lox. I'll add this one in the that center. One. Then we'll do a little bit of this. And then the finishing touch, you know, I like to have a little texture mm -hmm. on the egg. So the finishing touch is these breadcrumbs. Oh, wow. And these are panko breadcrumbs. They're extra crunchy. Uh -huh. And they are kind of toasted in a little bit of olive oil. So they get, you get that Oh, wow. Bit of did crunch. you make these? I did. I did. What a gal. So there you go. That's the Bagel and Locks deviled egg. Awesome. Jess, these look so good. I'm super excited to eat them. Um, I also really like this plate too. Um, it's a really cool egg platter you can score at Hallmark Gold Crown stores. But enough about that, let's eat these. Which one are you gonna try? Um, I think I'm gonna try the lox one because it makes me feel cultured and fancy. Okay, I think I'll, I'll go for this Bloody Mary. Oh, brunch. It'll be like a brunch party here. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Thanks guys so much for tuning in. Jess and I had a blast. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. Or if you have any good excellent egg puns, also happy to hear those. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye.